brother, did you ever think about what life would have been if you had taken a different path? And that you had that opportunity to have a spouse and to have children and grandchildren and what goes into those thoughts? Well, first of all, I'm very grateful because if I had not joined the religious community, my guess is that I, I would have done like many of the graduates of uh, Rumford High School. They went straight to the paper mill. Now, my father worked 44 years in the paper mill. Uh, I only have one sister that went to the university. And I, well, I have a couple who, continue, who went later on, but straight out of high school, only one. And so if I had been in Rumford, I'm a fairly decent worker, I probably would have gone to the paper mill I would have uh, found a, a gorgeous young lady in Rumford, I'm sure. I definitely would have married. I, if I had not been, I would definitely be married. That, uh, that is not a, it's not a negotiable. <laughs> so I would, I would be married, and then I presume I would have had a few children, like my, my brothers and sisters. And uh, I might have spent most of my life in a paper mill. Now. What, what else I would have done in the paper mill, I'm not sure, you know, would, I, would they have asked me to do some other work? Probably not. They probably said he's doing the, this very well, we're paying him well, and, and I would have probably stayed in Rumford. And then my life would have been very parochial, you know, right there in Rumford rather than... But the emotional relationship would have been much more penetrating. <laughs> or do you find that the relationship of your students and the brothers uh, was to that same mm -hmm. penetrating love for each yeah. other? Uh, I can't tell because I, I haven't experienced the married life. Now, it would seem to me that in a good marriage, the, the relationships can even be deeper than a good marriage. On a bad marriage, or you know, where it's not working, the, the obviously. But on a good marriage, you have your own children, you know. But what I would say a serious religious would be doing is to say, how do I renew these these types of relationship? How do I work so closely with one of the staff members that it's like a family relationship? that we can work together without, uh, you know, r with loving each other, uh, concern about each other, devoted to each other. How can we do that? If I have students in the classroom, I'm not going to have my own children, but how can I establish a relationship with some of these children? Because very often they're away from home, especially in a place like Plattsburgh, it was a boarding school. So, in some way, their own parents are not there. So how can you establish a relationship that is going to be so sincere or so devoted that there is a sense that it's a father-mother relationship? 